my studio. Today I'm going to demonstrate uh, a bit about texture. The canvas that you see is has been textured with gesso, which is an acrylic polymer. I put it on very thickly because uh, I wanted to have a lot of texture. And what I did before the gesso was quite dry was I pushed bubble wrap into this area and I used rug hooking canvas in three other areas and then I just took my putty knife and tapped around the edges so that it would hold a nice hard edge. I put a semi-transparent color over the whole canvas and you can see how this lovely texture shows through. Usually what I do is I will uh, put on a color and then I'll turn the canvas around. And I keep turning the canvas as I'm putting more color on because that helps me to know if anything becomes visible. So now that we've started out with semi-transparent, I want to go to some opaque to lay in a background, but I'm going to be putting it on thinly enough that you'll still be able to see all this wonderful texture in the back. This is my brush of choice for today. I will just keep swirling this around in a variety of patterns until it looks pleasing to my eye. As this is just the first color that's going on, the canvas is going to be turned several more times and there will be several colors applied to it. Having done the opaque color, I will probably go back to transparent colors because that's my preference. I would also use a spritzer bottle to move the paint around, uh, distribute it a little more evenly, but I think you get the general idea. Maybe a little bit more over there. I think you can see the warmth of the texture starting to develop. 